my instructor swung us out on that runway, lined us up with that center line, and said, I want you to take off. Welcome to Flight Following, I'm Justin Gentle, and I thought it would be fitting to talk about my first two flights on this first video in the beginning of you following me through my flight training. So the very first flight I ever went on that was general aviation, so not a commercial airliner. It's called a discovery flight. It's where you're with a flight instructor and you get to see what it's like to fly a plane and be in the air behind the controls. So I did my discovery flight around Orlando um, and the experience was incredible. It was that that childhood dream of flying and there I am behind the controls you know turning the airplane and looking out and seeing downtown Orlando and I-4 oh I live over there it was a really cool kind of, oh, this is what I want to do. I, I will do anything I can from this point forward to continue my flight training, to even start saving up for flight training, um, anything I could do to prepare. So research and flight schools, I wanted absolutely everything to do with flying. I wanted to be a pilot and I knew that from this first flight. And then a year and a half later I went on my second discovery flight and it was here at Emory Riddle and I met my flight instructor and it was a similar thing. Let's take you out and show you the airplane, show you what it's like to fly. Well, it was a little more than that because they had me taxi the airplane. So I'm sitting there, not knowing what I'm doing. Like, I'd like you to taxi down to this runway. So I'll tell you which way to go. You just control the airplane and you have your feet on the rudder pedals. It was really hard for me to figure out. But I did it. And before I knew it, I'm sitting there at the edge of the runway. And we get cleared from ATC to take off. My instructor taxi us out onto the runway. Now we're lined up looking down the runway and he says to me, oh, okay now I want you to take off. I'm sitting here. I just tried to figure out how to taxi an airplane and now you're having me take off. I don't know what I'm doing but before I could really, I didn't say any of that and before any kind of mental thought I had time to comprehend what was going on. Any of that took place. I already had my hand on the throttle, hand on the yoke, push the throttle in, and then I'm pulling back on the yoke. I had taken off. It was incredible. Uh, you know, the sun setting on one side, the other side you have the shoreline of Daytona Beach and all the hotels and everything. Yeah, but you have the water and the waves and the clouds were so pretty. It was incredible. I was very aware that I didn't know anything. And I was overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that was happening. I'm just like, how am I supposed to be expected to do all of this? And, well, I'm not. But I didn't know that at the time. So, it wasn't as fun as reliving what I thought would be reliving that experience the first time flying. Like, <gasps> I can't believe I'm, I'm controlling this airplane because I knew there was so much I didn't know. All that time between those flights I'd spent studying or listening to other people explaining their flight experience. I just like, I have a lot to learn. So on top of being aware of not knowing anything, 
it was a realization for me that I can't believe not only am I flying right now, but this is the beginning of my flight training. From this point forwards, I am going to be learning to become a pilot. I'm going to be training and studying to become an airman. And it was really, really cool knowing that not only do I know this is what I want to do, but I'm actually able to do it. And sure, it felt like forever in between those two flights, but from point A to point B, condensed down to one moment, it's just, I knew I was interested, and now I'm doing it. And I'm here, and I'm learning. So, the purpose for sharing this is just because, sure, it's the beginning of my training, and I thought you might be interested, but also because it's a documentation of where I am now and where I will end up being. And I found my interest, or I, I kind of knew I was interested in to begin with, but I was, I set a goal rather, for flight training, become a pilot with my first Discovery flight. My second Discovery flight really, really solidified that this is real and this isn't just a dream. It, it's a lot. There's a lot to it. But those steps I've taken between first wanting to fly and being able to fly have gotten me here today and will allow me to continue flying in my future.